Um, I realize I got my dash cam on again. It's recording. So right now I'm driving in censored operation and it's much smoother. As you can hear, I got the radio turned right down. You can't even hear where the transition to sensorless is. Um, I'll make note that my battery is more or less fully charged. It's at 462 volts, so the regen is going to make slowing down a little funny. But here's another fairly heavy foot start. So you can't even hear. You can't even hear the uh, transition to sensor lights. We'll do one more here, right from a start. I felt it just a smidgen right there, but that's only because I can change the timing a little bit. I have the timing a bit retarded for um, the hall sensor signals because there was a bit of noise on the line and it seemed to be a little more reliable doing full throttle acceleration. Um, <clears throat> we'll do another good one here. Couldn't feel that or hear or tell where it transitioned or anything. It's really good. It's uh, I'd say this is basically perfect now. <clears throat> basically, I found the way to finally get full factory quality starts. I'm just gonna bring it to stop at this stop sign again here. Chatter is a little bit on regen there, slowing down just because the battery is fully charged. So, complete stop, just nice and slow. See how smooth that is? Like, it doesn't, the car doesn't shake or anything anymore. It's amazing. This is what I've been looking for for about a year and a half, trying to get it to run that good. That was like, half throttle or something. I got the power turned down a little bit for the winter. I don't want to harm the batteries and um, I don't really need 300 whatever 20 horsepower for the you know the minus whatever the snow and the ice and the minus 10 degree roads we have right now and everything. So I turned it down just a bit to try and uh, be, be a little easier on the batteries and um, basically give me a little easier to control uh, throttle so I don't spin out as easy and everything. I'm gonna actually try and hopefully find some time to work on the um, traction control system here soon. I'm gonna actually hook, conveniently talking about it, I'm gonna hook one of the hall sensor signal inputs from the motor into my Arduino that reads my motor, uh, reads my speed and everything. And then I'm gonna have it compare the wheel speed on the rear wheel that it reads from normally. And uh, once the motor starts getting too fast above the rear wheels, uh, speed basically in some sort of comparison I'll uh, allow like maybe we'll call it 20% slip 10% slip or something it'll start cutting contact so we'll figure it out I'll, I'll play with those numbers it could be as low as like 2 or 5% or something don't know yet but um, that's not a huge priority I uh, gotta get working on the, the big controller here again between that and my battery charger that I'm working on those two things are going to eat up the rest of my spare time here for the next while, but hoping to get onto the regen here soon. I'll uh, shut up for one more start here as I turn and go up the street towards my house, just so you can hear how smooth it is from all the noise in the car without me talking. Here we go. See, I don't know where it went to sensorless there. You couldn't tell at all. Um, basically, I would call that more or less a factory start. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of shake when I first get starting, but that's actually because there's a bit of play in the motor and the shafts and everything. I've beat the living shit out of this car this year. I'll do a little more powerful start and I'll be quiet too. Can't really tell where it transitions. Pretty sure that's about as good as it's gonna get. I'm pretty damn happy. On to the next uh, next little gremlin to solve. Time to get an odometer working in this thing, I think.